Okay, so if you guys have been hanging on for the first few tessellations that we've done, this is a piece of cake. Uh, we have to set up our canvas again, get rid of the axis. We want parallel projection and go to camera and standard views. We want a top view, get rid of the person icon. And basically, we are going to use the rectangle tool on the large tool set and just make whatever rectangle you want. And then we're going to choose the move copy tool. We're going to select this. We, not, we could select the side, but we can use the move copy tool and just grab, highlight one side, not the whole shape, but just highlight in blue one side and then move it. And you get a parallelogram. So let's copy this a few times here. We're going to grab the edge and line it up to snap on a corresponding vertex. And I'm going to make a, let's do four. And then um, I'm going to color it, use the paint bucket tool, and choose whatever color scheme you want. I'll use something very garish here. Hopefully you can come up with something better than this. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's better. And so, look, any, any parallelogram is going to tessellate uh, because we can combine four of these shapes and um, because the uh, consecutive angles are supplementary, if we put two together, we end up getting 180, and we put two of those together, and 180 plus 180 gets 360. So this is a very simple kind of tessellation. You can decide whether you want it to do a, uh, a diagonal uh, with the color scheme, or if you want to make sort of a, a long bar of, of the colors, what, whatever you want to do. And that's, that's, that's pretty basic. So um, at this point, uh, you fill the, the screen with this shape and then um, zoom in a little bit so uh, you don't have any of the dead space around and export it as a 2D graphic from the file menu and uh, save it wherever you want and upload it to uh, your Google Docs and, and uh, share it with me. That's it.